All right, good morning, everyone. Mixed level yoga, I'm Michelle. So let's start in child's pose. We're gonna bring the feet towards the back of your mat and separating the knees, if you can, wider than hips width. Feet touch, let your pelvis drop all the way back towards your heels and then let your head rest down anywhere you wanna place your arms. So in the past and yesterday, we started our series of each day focusing on balancing an energy center. There are seven total according to the chakra system. And we're, we began yesterday with a root chakra, this foundation located the very, very base of the spine, the pelvic floor area. So here we start in this grounding position, literally connecting to the earth. Feel your body resting on the floor. Feel the natural rhythm of your breath. Maybe even take your, a moment to close your eyes and check in. Take a mental scan of your physical being, noticing any sensations, perhaps soreness, perhaps tension, but also acknowledge any areas that feel strong today, perhaps feel a little more alive. Feeling the state of your mind. And then allow the breath to flow in more slowly as you expand into the lungs and direct the breath all the way down to the base of your spine in your mind's eye. Feel the breath in your lower belly. As you open the mouth, sigh it out, feel that release, allowing the belly to hollow Inviting a deeper inhalation the next round. Feel the length of your spine from tailbone to neck. Again, through the mouth, any releasing sound. <sighs> One more time, in through the nose. Feel full expansion in all of your torso, top, bottom, sides. And then through the mouth again, empty the breath. <sighs> Inviting a more pronounced expansion a more pronounced release. But now closing the lips, begin to create warmth using what we call ujjayi pranayama or victorious breath. It's done by breathing sustained and equally in and out through the nose while gently narrowing the back of your throat, allowing a soothing whispering sound, a steady rhythm that you can attune your mind to as you begin to move the body. Bring your hands back towards the outsides of your knees. Drop your chin towards your chest. And as you inhale, begin to roll the spine upright, one vertebra at a time, and then slide your legs in front of you. Let's come into bound angle pose, another grounding position. As you bring the feet together to touch, hold on to your outer feet or your big toes, and then bring your heels close to your pelvis, then ground your pelvis. Feel the connection to the earth through your sitting bones. And through that connection, begin to lift up through your lower spine, middle spine, as though you could breathe a little more space between each vertebra. Relaxing the shoulders back and down. Lead with your heart as you begin to bow from your hips, creating an open space between chin and chest as the breath welcomes, is welcomed at your throat. Now you can keep your hands on your feet. You can reach the arms forward. If you want a little more of a side stretch, crawl your hands over to the right for a few breaths as you ground your left sitting bone firmer. And then switch over to the left as you ground your right sitting bone more firmly. Hear the sound of your even breath. Feel the ease and balance to your breath. Then through center, begin to lift from your chest, your heart, and lift your spine slowly. Now find any comfortable seat. Maybe that's cross-legged. Maybe you sit up on top of a pillow. Maybe you sit on your shins. So before entering the second energy center, which we'll focus on today, just a recap of yesterday's root chakra, which is that ability to feel stable, grounded, connected to trust within yourself, trust in your environment, a feeling of safety and having your basic needs met. 
We use meditation, affirmations, physical postures to open that space within us. So today we go up just below the belly button, just above the root chakra into the sacral energy center. And here's a little reading about it. The second chakra rules creativity, emotions, joy, enthusiasm, and sensuality. Physically, it's located near your sacrum and hips, below your navel, and is said to be the seat of your reproductive organs. When Svadhisthana, that's the name of this chakra, energy is in balance, you will be able to source energy for creative flow, movement, procreation, desire, pleasure, and healthy, harmonious relationships. It's the power of partnerships, how we begin to relate to others outside the family tribe. It's the creative exploration of life and relationships, sexuality, and discovering the power of choice. It means one's own abode, Svadhisthana. It holds the key to unlocking and harnessing the energy you need to be innovative and to make change. So the natural element today's focus is on water. And the color is orange. That's why I'm wearing this. And the chant is the sound VAM, V-A-M. So instead of OM today, we're going to begin by chanting once. Excuse me, I need to mute somebody. I think there's some sound in the background. The sound VAM, one syllable. So as you set your hands just below your belly button, sit tall, close your eyes, and we'll open the space with whatever intention you have your you have is what you'd like to create today. So focusing on your power to create. What is that? A feeling of, or maybe it's a more physical something that you'd like to create today. Directing your focus there, let's chant VAM. Take a deep breath. Vaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
as you root down through your palms flat, index fingers parallel as they point forward, thumbs wide towards each other. Tuck your toes behind you, lift your pelvis up, come into downward facing dog. Begin to pedal your feet slowly in place, swiveling your hips to the right, to the left, shaking your head, loosening up your neck, calm breaths. Nod your head, yes. Let your jaw relax, flutter your lips. Again, inhale through the nose, flutter your lips, relax the mouth. Now give the feeling to your hands as if you're pushing the mat away from your feet. And then bend your knees a lot and see how high you can lift your pelvis, drop your skull, look at your feet and separate your feet at least hips width, parallel. Now with your knees still bent, your hips as high as possible, draw your hips back. Create the feeling of a flat back as you hug in your front ribs. Press the front of your thigh bones back and maybe your heels begin to sink lower. Maybe they don't. More important that your back feels flat. Your neck is relaxed. The shoulders are lifted away from the neck. And then as you hold still here, let's give it three more calm, expansive breaths. Relaxing your nervous system, but empowering strength in your body, in your mind. As you exhale next, walk to the front of your mat, standing with feet wider than hips distance, maybe mat width, and then bend your knees, drop your skull, and inhale, slowly roll up, stacking one vertebra at a time, raising the arms overhead. And then palms face down, begin to slide in front of you towards the earth, grounding. From down to your feet, Spread your toes, inhale, circle the arms overhead. Bend your elbows apart like a cactus shape in your arms and coil your chest up. Lengthen the tailbone down, firm the belly in. Inhale, raise the arms, stand tall and mountain. Exhale, bend the knees and bow forward. Inhale, press the ground of your legs and lengthen halfway up, lifting the chest. Plant your hands flat on the floor, step into plank top of a push-up. Let's hold a few breaths. Stacking your shoulders right on top of your wrists. Spread your fingers and rebound your weight off the floor through your hands, creating space in your shoulder joints as you slide the shoulder blades apart onto your back ribs. Feel the lift in your navel. Carry that with you as you glide forward. Bend your elbows back. Feel your arms graze your side ribs slowly. Maybe take a few breaths. Lower all the way down. Grounding through the tops of your feet, point your toes, keep your pelvis on the floor, and hug your elbows to your sides. Breathe in and roll the shoulders behind you, floating your heart up, look forward. Breathe in, look behind you over one shoulder, breathe out. Inhale, look forward. Other shoulder, exhale. Inhale, center. Tuck the toes, maybe press up through full plank, or place your knees on the ground as you lift up. Draw the hips back to downward facing dog. Take a few breaths. <sighs> In downward dog, bring your feet together to touch. Ground through your palms and inhale, raise your right leg up high. As you exhale, bend that knee, turn open at the hip and begin to rotate your right thigh bone at the hip socket. Like you're drawing circles in the air with your knees. Go in the opposite direction. Relax the neck. Feel your shoulders relax away from the neck. Then re-extend the right leg behind you. Take a breath in. Just step your right foot midway up your mat on the right outer side of the mat. So midway, outside the mat on the right. Pivot both feet to face the right side. And then put your weight on your left hand. Make sure your left wrist is directly under your left shoulder. Push the floor away as you flex your left foot. Your left hand pushes the floor. Raise the right arm up, breathe in. And then exhale, slowly sink your left hip to the ground as you reach the right arm towards the back of your mat. Push the floor away, flex both feet. Exhale, lift and sweep the right arm overhead towards the front. Exhale, back and down. Two more rounds of breath. Inhale, up and forward. Flex the feet. Exhale, back and down. You're leaning on the outer feet, the pinky toe side. Inhale, up and forward. Exhale, back and down. This time, inhale, up and forward. Place the right hand on the mat. Lower the left knee 
and step the right foot forward just outside of your right hand. Now extending your chest forward, take a deep breath, relax the mouth, soften the shoulders back. And even gently scissor your right outer hip back. We're going to open up into the outer right hip and thigh by flexing your right foot first to stabilize your right knee while splaying your right thigh open to again lean on the outer foot, that knife outer edge. Now you could stay on your hands. If you're not feeling much yet, you could come down lower onto your forearms. Keep extending your chest forward as you breathe calmly through your nose. If it's accessible, you could slide the left knee back a bit, bend it, and backstroke your right arm to catch hold of your left foot, giving your quadricep and hip flexor a little bit of a stretch, bringing the left heel slowly towards your left glute. Whatever variation, notice how your body is responding to you through sensation. Notice how your breath is giving you information so that you can monitor how much intensity you need to put into the physical practice to feel balance. Last two breaths. You always have a choice. If you have your back foot, gently release it. With your two hands in front, lift your chest. Keep your right foot outside of your right hand. Start with the right foot flat on the ground facing forward. Then scissor your right hip back towards straightening the right leg in this wide-legged version of Ardha Hanumanasana. Flexing your right foot, engage your right quadricep, front of the thigh. Then extend your chest forward and lengthen your neck. Firming the belly towards the back, begin to hinge forward inside of your right leg. Breathe in and feel your lower spine grow forward out of the pelvis. Breathe out, feel a slight lift in your chest as you might bow a little deeper maybe crawling the hands forward. Let's take three more breaths. Half split. So you've guessed it. The sacral chakra in movement form involves opening up the hips where we can hold a lot of stuck energy, especially we've been sitting a lot, maybe working from home at the computer. Unleashing that, you feel a sense of flow, flexibility, able to be more fluid like water. Rebend your right knee, plant your hands flat right under your shoulders, step into plank pose. If you're looking for more rigor, lift the right foot, keep squaring your hips, flex the foot. Keep it lifted, exhale, shift forward, hug your elbows to your side ribs and lower all the way down, both feet on the ground. One inhale into cobra, slide the shoulder blades down your back. Tuck the toes, press up through plank or hands and knees. Engage the belly to lift the hips back. Downward dog, breathe. Step your feet together here. Inhale, raise the left leg behind you. As you exhale, bend the knee, turn open at the hip, and then take a few breaths of rotating your left thigh bone at the hip socket, switching directions. Let the head fall, notice your breathing. Really nice. Then re-extend the left leg and square your hips. Breathe in. Step your left foot outside the left edge of your mat, just midway up. Then pivot both feet to face the left side of your mat. With your right hand flat on the floor, stack your right shoulder above your right wrist. Sweep the left arm up overhead and swivel onto the outer edges of both feet flex. Left arm reaches towards the rear of your mat as you sink the right hip down. Push the floor away with your three limbs. Inhale, lift the hips. Raise the left arm overhead towards the front of your mat. Exhale, sink the hips. Left arm towards the rear. Again, inhale up and forward. Exhale down and back. Two more cycles of breath. Inhale up and forward, keep flexing the feet to support your knees. Exhale, down and back. Deep breath, up and forward. Exhale, down and back. This time, inhale, up and forward, set your left hand down on the floor. Step your left, let's put the right knee down first. Step your left foot forward, just outside of your left hand, lizard lunge. As you breathe in, expand your chest forward. Soften the shoulders back. As you breathe out, flex your left foot 
and splay your left thigh open. Keep that. The flexing left foot is stabilizing your left knee as you open up into your outer left thigh and hip, IT band area. Gently scissor the left hip back. If on this side of your hips you feel pretty open and want to go deeper, come down onto your forearms. Listen to the length of your in-breath. Match the length of your out-breath. And in your conscious rebalancing of your breath flow, you help to keep a feeling of balance mentally and physically, equilibrium. If you can reach for the back leg, scoot the right knee back and bend it. Back stroke the left arm to catch hold of your right foot. Gently bring the right heel closer to your right glute, lengthening into your quadricep, opening your hip flexor, and opening the front of your left shoulder. Whatever variation, Notice how your body is responding to let you know exactly what it needs. No need to force anything unnecessary. Last three breaths. Listening to the wisdom of our bodies because they never lie, though our minds may perceive their communication in different ways. You have your back foot gently release it set your left hand down in front of you again press up lifting your torso step your left foot still outside of your left hand flat on the ground then scissor the left hip back to straighten the front leg whatever degree you can flex the left foot engage the quadricep breathe in and lengthen the lower spine from the pelvis slightly lift the chest breathe out and begin to hinge forward inside of your left leg Arda Hanumanasana, half split. Feel your two hips evenly facing the front of your mat as much as you can while your spine is lengthening. We're opening up into your inner left thigh, across the sacrum, your hamstring, maybe you feel it in your calf. Last two deep breaths in half split. We're gonna exit a little differently this time. So inhale, look forward, re-bend the left knee. Keep that left foot close to the left edge of your mat. We're gonna step right foot close to the right edge of your mat, entering a squat at the front of your mat. Now, if your knees are sensitive, go even wider. Turn out your legs from your hips. Make sure your knees are turned out the same degree as your feet and come up high and press your hands onto your inner thighs. If it feels good to have your feet closer together like hips width, you could sink the pelvis if that feels fine to you and bring your hands in prayer. You could twist, press into the inner right thigh, turn your chest towards the sky, look over the right shoulder. Take a few breaths if you're twisting on each side. You could also twist if you're up high in the squat. Rotating the spine gives a nice release in the back. A few breaths in the other side. We're gonna enter a flow, but we're gonna mark it, it starting with a semi-flow. Then we're gonna move continuously a couple rounds after. So here's the roadmap to where we're going. Slowly begin to rise up into mountain pose with your feet hips width apart, parallel. Spread your toes, feel the ground beneath your body, root into it, and rise up tall through the spine. Breathe in to sweep the arms overhead, a gesture of reverence appreciation. Exhale, bring that together at your heart. Inhale the arms up again. Exhale, you might bend the knees to fold with a long spine. Press your hands on the ground of your legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward. Plant your hands, step into plank pose to enter your vinyasa. Either set your knees down or legs straight. Exhale, shift forward and down. Either lower all the way for cobra again or flip the toes into upward facing dog. Engage the belly to lift the hips back. Downward facing dog. Start with the feet touching. Inhale, raise the right leg behind you. Exhale, bend the right knee, turn open at the hip. Inhale here, tack the left hip back. Exhale, tap right knee to the outside of your right upper arm. Shift forward to plank. Hover, feel the strength of your side waist. Lift the belly lightly as you can. Step the right foot outside the right hand. Wide lunge, spin the back heel to the floor. You might have to shift it forward a little. Bend the front knee over the heel. 
with your hips both facing forward, bring your hands behind your back to clasp. Lifting up to stand with the hands clasp. If you can't clasp the hands here, you can bring your hands to your waist, that's fine. Scissor the right hip back, let the left hip shift forward. As you're bending the front knee, feel the quadricep embrace the femur. Lift the frontal hip bones, a sense of containing your center. Take a deep breath in and coil the chest up. As you exhale, hinge forward. You might fold in a diagonal inside of your right thigh, or you might fold a little lower, scissoring the right hip back. Try to keep both hips facing forward in this wide version of Humble Warrior. If you're bowing all the way, drop your skull. You're releasing your neck by floating the shoulders away from it while stretching the arms overhead. Little bend in the elbows, take one more breath. Humble warrior. From down through your legs, inhale, rise. Setting up for warrior two, release the hands and slide your right foot to the left down to the midline of your mat. Align your right heel to intersect the arch of your left foot in this wide stance. Turn your chest to face the left side, open the arms, and gaze past your right hand. Warrior two brings the energy of focus and grounding. So feel the earth you're pressing both feet equally into. The right outer hip wraps slightly under your body, allowing the right knee to completely face the front of your mat. The left leg is slightly internally rotated. Firm the top of your left thigh bone back. Feel the belly engage. Take one more deep breath. Keep your legs in warrior two. Slide your hips towards the rear of your mat. Reach the right hand forward, pressing the right forearm against your right thigh. Raise the left arm up and overhead. Extended side angle pose. Here, use the right forearm not just to completely lean into your right thigh, but to gently push off of your right thigh as you scissor this right hip towards the rear of your mat lengthening this right underside of your torso. Keep rolling the right glute slightly under your body. Direct your tailbone towards your left heel. Feel the ground through your outer left foot and see if you can spiral your chest open towards the sky. Relax the shoulders away from the neck. Take one more deep breath inside angle. From down to your feet, rise up through warrior two. Breathe in, breathe out. Straighten the legs, flip the right palm up, and sweep the right arm overhead for a lateral lean towards the rear of your mat. Left hand lightly lands on the left leg. Reverse triangle pose. Ground through the feet and lift your pelvic floor for stability. Imagine you could breathe a little deeper into your right lung. Feel that side body lengthen. Relax the shoulders. Is there any gripping in the face? Soften that. Take one more breath, reverse triangle. Now we're gonna rise up, keep the wide stance and turn out your left leg. So both legs are turned out into a half squat, skindasana. Just bending your left knee, track it to point in the same direction as your left middle toe. Curl your right toes up, inner thigh strength, core strength, lift the pelvic floor, join your hands in prayer or bring your hands to your thighs. Breathe in here, we're just passing through. Bend the right knee and switch legs. Left toes curl up, breathe out. Rotate the left leg and pivot to face forward in a lunge. Lower your two hands, look forward. Step into plank and enter your vinyasa, which if you want something lighter could be cat cow. So you're on your own here, breathe in, breathe out. Downward facing dog, feet together to touch, breathe in. Breathe out. Second side, inhale, raise the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee, turn open at the hip. Inhale, tack your right hip back. Exhale, touch left knee to left tricep in plank. Pause, lift the belly, breathe. Step the left foot lightly outside the left hand. Spin the right heel down, both hips face forward, both feet flat on the ground. Bring your hands behind you or hold your hips. Interlace the fingers if you can. Scissor the left hip back and bend the front knee. Inhale, lift up, preparing for humble warrior. Draw the shoulders down, keep breathing. Lift the frontal hip bones. 
anchor the tailbone downward. You're at a wider stance than the usual warrior one, but it's for the focus in your hips. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lean forward. You might go into a diagonal or you might hinge all the way down inside of the left leg. Continue to scissor the left hip back. Let the head go if you're bowing all the way. And with a little bend in your elbows, lift the arms overhead towards the front of your mat while lifting the shoulders up away from your neck. Humble warrior. Let's take one more full breath. Now transition with control. Connect to your center, engage the belly from down through your feet. Inhale, rise slowly. Slide the left foot towards the midline of your mat. Align left heel to arch of right foot and cartwheel the arms, warrior two. Right away, set your gaze steady on one spot, just in front of your left hand. Feel the rotation of your right leg inward, allowing your right toes to slightly point at the front of your mat. Feel the turn out of your left leg, completely facing the front as you bend the knee, just on top of the heel, not too much. Lift through the center of your spine, relax the shoulders. Let's take one more breath, grounding in warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Keep the front knee bent. Slide your hips towards the rear of your mat. Reach the left hand past the left knee. Use the forearm to gently push off of your left thigh. Lengthen the left side body. Raise the right arm up and overhead, rolling the tricep towards the right side of your mat and down. Feel your left glute and outer hip wrap under the body as you firm top of your right thigh bone back while perhaps spiraling your chest open towards the sky, slide the shoulders away from the neck. I know it's a lot of alignment cues, so if you don't practice with me regularly, they might feel like a mouthful as they do right now. So if that's happening, zone it out and focus on your breath. Even if you have to be in a pose a little longer or take a child's pose so that you can make sure that you're breathing easily, that's more important. Ground to your feet, inhale, rise to warrior two. Straighten the left leg, flip the left palm up, and sweep it overhead for a side bend towards the rear of your mat. Right hand lightly lands on the right leg. Now, press through the ground and lift your pelvic floor. It's that feeling of putting on some tight jeans and zippering the lower belly towards the back and up towards the heart. Relax the shoulders down. Imagine you could breathe a little deeper into your left lung. Take one more breath. As you lift the torso upright, turn out your right leg. So now you're preparing for that squat. Just the right knee bends. Align it with the middle toe. Curl your left toes up. Either hands on your thighs or join your hands in prayer. It's a little more challenging going slow. Bend your left knee. Switch legs. Curl the right toes up. Rotate the right leg from the hip socket. To point the right knee to the floor, land your hands in a lunge at the front of your mat. Look forward, step into plank, you decide, is it time to rest, is it time to flow? Or maybe something in between. Breathe in, breathe out. We'll meet in downward dog for three to five breaths, creating opportunity in this pause of stillness to realign your focus on what you're cultivating here the energy you put into moving your body is the energy you're amplifying and bringing into where you go next, your next interactions with yourself and others, how you handle, the work call you answer later. Remembering how this stage of empowerment can be an opportunity for the rest of your day. Bend your knees, look forward, bottom of the breath, lightly land, Feet touching top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, press the ground of your legs. Lengthen the spine forward. Exhale, fold. Firm through the feet. Inhale, circle the arms up to rise. Exhale, join your hands at your heart. So we led, we created a path. Now let's play with the flow of it. Movement to breath. If you need to go at a different pace than I'm leading, take the liberty to do that. It's more about having fun and allowing the feeling of fluidity, flowing like water. Here we go. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Step to plank or lightly float. 
through chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, feet together. Inhale, raise the right leg. Exhale, bend the knee, turn open at the hip. Inhale, draw left hip back. Exhale, tap right knee to right tricep and plank. Step the foot outside the right hand. Drop the back heel, clasp the hands as you inhale to rise. Exhale, bow forward, whatever degree, scissor the right hip back. Inhale, rise up to warrior two, right heel to arch of left foot, open the arms. Exhale, reach forward, right forearm to thigh, left arm overhead, side angle. Inhale, straighten the legs and rise up. Flip the right palm overhead towards the rear of the room. Revolt, reverse triangle. Exhale, rise up, turn out the left leg and bend the knee. Skindasana, half squat. Switch sides as you inhale, bend the right knee. Turn to face the front, exhale, hands down in a lunge. Step to plank, flow, or go straight to downward dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Second side, feet together. Inhale, raise the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, tack right hip back. Exhale, touch left knee to left tricep, land the foot outside, left hand, right heel down. Inhale, clasp the hands, rise up, preparing. Exhale, bow forward, humble warrior. Inhale, rise up, cartwheel the arms, align left heel to arch of right foot, warrior two. Exhale, reach forward, left forearm to thigh, right arm overhead, side angle. Inhale, rise, straight legs, flip the left palm, reverse triangle. Turn out the right leg, exhale, bend the right knee, flex the left toes up, skin dasana. Switch sides as you inhale. Lower the hands down, pivot to a lunge, plank through your vinyasa, or cat cow, or hold plank, or straight to downward duck. Now that we finish both sides, settle into the calm rhythm of your breath. Remember that is not about rushing. It's about learning to move with a sense of ease in a continuous flow with mindfulness, with joy. So it's not so much even about getting there at a certain time, like I said, you don't have to go at my pace. You could even change the movements, add your own flavor, play with it, but let your breath stay consistent. Last round, bend your knees, look forward. Bottom of the breath, lift your pelvic floor and land lightly, top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Root down to inhale, rise up, palms touch. Exhale together at your heart. Last time, inhale, sweep the space around you. Exhale, dive in. Inhale, float your heart up. Step to plank or float back through Chaturanga. Insert your version of vinyasa here or no vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Feet touching in downward dog. Inhale, raise the right leg. Exhale, bend the knee, open at the hip. Inhale, tack left hip back. Exhale, tap right knee to right tricep. Land the foot outside, right hand. Spin the back heel down. Inhale, clasp the hands and rise up. Exhale, bow forward, humble warrior. Inhale, warrior two, rise up, align right heel to left arch, cartwheel the arms. Exhale, side angle, right forearm to right thigh, left arm overhead. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the legs, sweep the right palm towards the back of the mat. Skindasana, exhale, turn out the left leg, bend the knee, flex the right toes up. Switch sides, Skindasana. Hands at the top of your mat, pivot to a lunge. Step to plank, your choice of vinyasa here, however you wanna spice it up. Breathe in, oxygenize every cell in your body, breathe out, release what's no longer needed. Feet touch, inhale, raise the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee, turn open at the hip. Inhale, tack the right hip back. Exhale, touch left knee to left tricep. Step the foot outside the left hand. Spin the right heel down, clasp the hands, inhale, rise. Exhale, bow into humble warrior. 
warrior two, inhale, rise up, cartwheel the arms, align left heel to arch of right foot. Reverse triangle, exhale, straighten the legs, left palm up and overhead. Skin dasana, half squat, turn out the right leg, bend the right knee, sink the hips. Switch sides, bend the left knee, flex the right foot. Pivot forward to a lunge, hands down. You decide, hold plank, chaturanga, cat cow, child's pose. It's all good. What feels good for your body right now? Do that for the next five breaths. Bend your knees, look at the top of your mats. At the bottom of your exhalation, try holding the breath out, lift your pelvic floor and walk or lightly jump front of your mat, feet touch. Inhale, left, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms and rise. Exhale, to gather your heart. I don't know about you, but all that moving like water has got water all over. So let's step that wide stance facing the, each other for now and then from your hips rotate your legs to turn out pivot your feet to turn out make sure your knees are aligned with your middle toes and then bend both knees and just rock a little side to side loosen up the inner thighs they might be pretty warm by now let the hips bump to the right bump to the left just feel that energy of motion in the pelvic area now, as you bend both knees, make sure you're protecting them by only turning out your legs as much as your toes, middle toes, and middle of your knees can align. Use your hands to splay open the inner thighs, roll the sitting bones downward, and lift your frontal hip bones. Feel a sense of containing the lower belly. Lift your heart, relax the shoulders. And then start to inhale the arms up, straighten the legs, press through the feet. Exhale, bend the knees, palms press down towards the earth in front. Inhale, straighten the legs, scoop the palms towards the heart center. Exhale, bend the knees, expand the arms wide apart. This is actually a heart mantra through movement. Inhale like an invitation from the sky, open sky above. Exhale, palms down, grounding towards the earth. Inhale, rise, invitation to the heart whatever it is that you're calling in. Exhale, expand the arms, radiate, sending that love and light out. Inhale up, open sky above. Exhale down, grounding earth below. Inhale towards heart, invitation. Exhale, radiate, send love. Two more rounds of breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And from here, with knees still bent, just start to rock a little side to side. Roll the left shoulder back and down. Roll the right shoulder back and down. Heel toe the feet slightly closer together where you could add a little rotation in the hips. Over to the left, bend the knees forward to the right, lean back, drawing circles on the earth with your tailbone. Switch directions, circling forward. Breathe in, circling back. Bend the knees. It allows a little more motion in the hips. And then allow the arms to just kind of wave up and down. Sort of like wings. Close your eyes, don't worry about how it looks. Feel a sense of soaring into the space around you. Feel the freedom of movement in your hips, the freedom of movement in your arms. It doesn't have to be you're trying to do something. You're just trying to feel something. Now maybe you bring the feet a little closer together and you allow the head to start to drop towards chin, towards chest, excuse me. And then roll one ear towards one shoulder. Lean the head back. Feel the freedom in your neck as you allow it with breath. Switch directions. Ah, unlocking energy in the spine. This place of holding ourselves up physically, our skeleton. Breathing, circulating life force through your own physical being. 
but also giving and sharing as you breathe out. Start to roll the shoulders forward, back. It's more of the rib cage rotating. Forward, side, back. Mid back, rolling like a little tornado, a little twister. Opposite direction. Think of the cabbage patch if you were in the 90s. <laughs> you could even add that in your arms. And the belly and the hips. Bring the feet even closer together. Bring your hands to your thighs. Let the knees go one side, other. Feel the ankles. Feel your feet distribute on different parts. The four corners of the feet switch directions from the down up. Go a little higher, focus on the knees. Go a little higher, focus on the hips. Go a little higher, focus on the mid back. Go a little higher, focus on the hearts. Go a little higher, focus on the shoulders and arms. Go a little higher, focus on the head. And come to stand with your feet to touch. Join your hands at your heart. Root down to your left foot. Lift your right foot in front and feel stability as you rebalance your two hips. Feel your center, your connection to it. Turn out your right leg from the hip and either cross the ankle in front of the left thigh to begin to sit back or tree, tree pose. The left leg can stay straight. You can seal the right foot onto the inner left ankle. Toes can remain on the ground. You can press into the inner calf or the inner thigh, just not the knee. And maybe even lift the arms. Maybe make it a dancing tree and just play with challenging your balance as you move. Whatever the variation, if you're crossing the ankle over the thigh, there's an option to arm balance. Those of you that practice arm balancing, you flex the right foot, you plant the hands a foot in front of your front foot, parallel the arms and shift forward, look way beyond your hands on the floor, bending the elbows back, create a shelf out of your upper arms, cross the right shin on top of the upper arms to push off of, clasp the top of your right foot on the left upper arm, and maybe you shift forward enough as you hollow the belly to lift the left leg. Flying pigeon pose. Wherever you are, two more breaths, inhale, Exhale two, inhale, exhale. Let's meet in mountain pose. Both feet on the earth, arms down by your sides. Close your eyes, feel your feet on the ground. Feel your breath rise up to your chest. Open the mouth, side out. Join your hands in prayer. Shift your weight onto your right foot solid ground beneath. Lift your left foot, flex the left foot. Balance your hips like a seesaw, engage the belly. Now what you did on the first side, you might wanna do in the second just to have a, a feeling of balance. Whether you're crossing left ankle over right thigh, begin to sit like chair, or hugging the foot on your inner ankle, calf or thigh, standing tall in tree, maybe dancing tree and just playing with some movement. If you are sitting in chair, flexing the left foot, you might move towards arm balance. Sinking the hips back, landing the hands one foot in front, looking past the hands on the ground, wrapping the top of the left foot outside the right upper arm. As you bend the elbows back like chaturanga, make a shelf out of your upper arms to push off of with your left shin. Hollowing the belly, you might lift the right leg. Wherever you are, let's give it three more breaths, inhale, Exhale three, inhale, exhale two, inhale. Let's meet in mountain pose. <sighs> mountain pose, separate your feet, at least hips width apart. You might even go generously wider, parallel your feet. So that energy of water is that of purity, of cleanse, of release and flow. Let's bring that all together. Maybe close your eyes for this once you see me do it once. <laughs> so inhale, imagine a waterfall, fresh, clear, lift your arms up as you're scooping that water overhead and then bend your knees and with a big exhale to the mouth, fold forward, shh, splash into the water. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, shh, Dillinger like that one. Inhale, keep going, shh. Let it be as free of a movement as it feels good. 
Maybe you stay in a forward fold and just sway the torso and hold opposite elbows. Maybe that feels good. Maybe you come into a squat. Maybe you do this a couple more times and shake it out. You know, shaking is a way that animals can release stress after that flight or fight reaction. And then it really sets them back to a feeling of equilibrium. <sighs> Start to wind down to the floor, sitting down with your legs straight in front, feet hips width apart, flex your feet. You might move the flesh aside to ground your sitting bones, then firm your outer hips towards your midline. Plant your hands on the ground beside your hips. And while flexing your feet, feel your quadriceps slightly engage. Lift up your heart, lift your back ribs away from the pelvis, but rebound your weight off the floor through your sitting bones and lift up through your crown. Relax the shoulders, breathe in, get a little taller, breathe out, soften the edges. Breathe in, get a little taller, breathe out, release any unnecessary tension. Breathe in, keep lifting the heart from the hips, exhale, hinge forward, crawl the hands a little bit forward. Inhale, press the ground to the pelvis, lengthen the spine from it like a flat back. Exhale, hinge forward a little more if you can. And just like that, gradually finding the range of this forward fold that allows you the optimal length in your spine without having to shorten the neck by rounding and dropping the chin. But instead, keeping the heart slightly lifted, lightheartedness in this bowing in towards the earth itself. You might hold on to your feet if you can do so while relaxing the shoulders. Let your eyelids get heavier, turning your attention deeper inward. Feel the breath in, feel the breath out. Hashimotanasana. Last two deep breaths. Lead with a heart, float it up as you breathe in to rise. So we're gonna land on our belly, however you wanna lie down on your belly with legs straight back. We're gonna open up the inner shoulders here. So set your right ear all the way onto the ground and straighten your right arm out to the right so your wrist is in line with your shoulder. Bending the left elbow, place your left hand on the floor just beside your left ribs. Right ear on the ground, Push the floor away with your left hand and begin to gently peel the left side of your body off the floor to roll onto your right hip. You can roll further back if that feels like a good stretch in your inner shoulder, perhaps stepping left foot behind you. Soften the right shoulder down your back away from your neck and feel the ease in your breath. Breathe down into your belly. Feel the gentle expansion there. Breathe out through your mouth. Feel the heat releasing as you cool down. If it feels good too, you could wrap the left arm behind you. Maybe the hands meet. You could bend the left knee, step the foot on the ground, perhaps bend the right knee and do the same. Last two slow exhalations through the mouth. Fill up the belly, breathe out through the mouth. the end of this breath, begin to unwind back to center, rolling onto your stomach. Go really slow, switching sides. Roll the left ear to the ground. Slide the left arm straight out to the left side. Bend the right elbow, press the ground away with the right hand, and begin to roll over gently onto your left side. Soften the left shoulder away from your ear. If it feels good, step the right foot behind you on the ground. Maybe wrap the right arm behind you. These are all just options. Think of it as a buffet. You choose what to put on your plate. Does it taste good? You could pass if you like. Breathe in. Breathe out through the mouth. <sighs> Lion's breath this time. So it actually looks really silly. It's a nice way to release energetically. You breathe in, and then when you breathe out, you open the mouth wide, the eyes wide, cross the eyes and stick out the tongue like a lion. Well, not the eyes crossed, but yeah. So try that. Inhale, cross the eyes, stick out the tongue. One more. 
and then start to unwind into child's pose. Press the floor with two hands, slide your hips to meet your feet. We started here at the beginning of class, so just perhaps use it as a, a measure of how you feel now compared to how you felt then. Feel the effects of your physical, mental, and even breathing practice, energetic practice. Then start to roll up. Find a comfortable way to lie down. Let your entire body rest on the support of the ground. Close your eyes as you find that comfortable position in corpse pose or shavasana. I'll watch the clock for a few minutes as you lie to rest here while you continue to watch your inner space and breath. Now no longer controlling your breath, now allowing your body to rest and your mind to rest on the simplicity of your breath. Lying here still with the eyes closed, feeling the ease and flow of your breath throughout your body. Visualize your breath like a stream of water, but in the color of orange. Give a scent to that color that's sweet and pleasant to you, perhaps an orange fruit. As you inhale, feel the breath received at your heart center, down to your belly down to the base of your spine, even down to the soles of your feet. And as you exhale, feel the release to your mouth, easy flow, just like water that can adapt to any shape, form, and even consistency. Here's a little message that you might digest as you move into your day. Maintain your childlike spirit. Nature holds all aspects of light. This light is the same brilliant light that shines out of every child while they are still in touch with the magic of the world and nature. Feel the innocence or find the innocence of your childhood light within you and reconnect with it. This light represents your virtue and holds the memory of perfect trust, fearlessness in others, and holds the memory of perfect trust, fearlessness in others, and total self-reliance. 
It will allow you to see the world with the eyes of a child. You will be excited to learn new things every day, no matter where you are. How much happier our world would be if everyone reconnected to his or her purest essence. I invite you to do something silly today. Maybe you do it every day. And delight in something so simple that you might glance over if you're in your daily routine. Start to move your body gently, waking it up. Perhaps keep your eyes closed as you bend your knees into your chest. Entering a fetal position as you roll over to one side. Take your time. When you're ready, press into the earth and rise up. Find a comfortable upright seat. Rest your two palms right below your belly button. Visualize a warm light of orange surrounding your lower belly, even down to your pelvis. Breathe in, breathe out. And the energy you've cultivated within your body, your mind, your focus, your breath, what do you send out to the world today in your presence, knowing the power of our emotions and thoughts too? Let's close the practice chanting that sound of Svatistana, the sacral chakra, Vam, V-A-M, three rounds. Where your palms are to get deep breath. together at the heart. Bow in. Thank you everyone for joining us today. The light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.